back today with another tip for sales professionals and this is a fun one today we get to talk today about investing and how should you invest as a sales professional and while i can't tell you exactly listening to this how exactly you should invest how much money where and when and why but i can help lay a foundation for the importance of investing and the importance of seeking wisdom in this space for sales professionals because i've seen it done wrong so many times and so sales professionals are in a really unique position when it comes to investing because they typically have high incomes right i i know plenty of sales professionals um all making six figures at the very least and and often much, much more than that, um, over $250,000, $500,000 each year, which when done properly, managed properly, um, you can set yourself up really, really well for the future. And it's in such a unique position that most of these career fields do not have uh, even a glimpse of being able to do that. And, and so sales is such a unique space to be able to invest within and that also creates some interesting things to think about. And so today, you know, as I uh, talk to you, you might be, um, you might not be in that high income area yet, but I have a good feeling that you probably will get there over the course of your career as sales professionals are highly competitive, want to exceed um, expectations and want to succeed both personally and financially. And so things to think about um, when you are a sales professional that's investing is where is your income going to end up at the end of the year? Most sales professionals have some level of variable income. And so you might be a base plus commission sales professional, you might be fully commissioned. Um, and so it's interesting to know that and, and have an idea of what your OTE is. What's, what's your out the door uh, at the end of the year income going to be? And so sometimes that means we have to hold off on investing until the end of the year, until we know where your sales and your income is going to fall because those two things are so closely tied together. And so it's okay uh, to put a pause in it. Um, as great as it would be to know exactly how much you're going to make at the end of the year, you have this unique opportunity to go make a ton of money. And I would rather not know and have you make a ton of money at the end of the year and be able to do the right things than vice versa. And so why do we have to wait is because there are different limits with how we can invest, right? In an IRA, uh, and this changes every year, right? An IRA has a limit of how much you can put into it. It doesn't matter if it's a traditional or a Roth IRA. And so we're maxed out there but it's also important to know there are income limits, right? So if you, uh, depending on how you file your taxes is gonna impact what that limit is as well. And so we don't wanna contribute to a Roth, find out that we made too much money to contribute to a Roth and then have to backtrack to do everything. And so it's important to know that, but one thing I will tell you that you can take advantage of and should take advantage of as a sales professional is your employer 401k. This is typically one of the best places to start investing and to get investing, especially if you make a lot of money because you can stock a lot of money into a 401k, right? Over $20,000 of your own individual contributions each year. And so this is an incredible place to start investing. Most, I've never heard of a, an employer in the sales field that does not do some type of employer match. And so if you put in maybe 5% of your own salary and commission, uh, you might get a three, four or 5% match on that. And that is free money. And so this is why 401ks are one of the best places to start. There are IRAs and, and likely if you're a high income sales professional, you're going to have to venture into a brokerage account too, because you're going to max out those other options, which is again, an amazing place to be. And if you are maxing out your 401k and your IRA, and you have to get to the brokerage option, uh, you, if you're doing the right things, you are going to be successful financially. And so making sure um, you pay attention to the variable uh, in your income and having an idea of where you're gonna end up at the end of the year can help you create a really solid game plan for investing.